Hey there, and welcome to my studio. My name is Stacy Spangler. I'm a mixed media artist, and thought I would just kind of show you some of my favorite marking tools. Um, been cleaning out my studio here in the last recent weeks and found a bunch of supplies. And so I just kind of wanted to document it for myself and play around and um, thought I'd share that experience with you. So you can see here, um, this is actually a new product that I've come across. It is a tempera paint stick and they are very inexpensive as in cheap I'd hate the word cheap because um, but they are made for kids but they have such rich creamy color they are water soluble they're great for putting on top of paint you can see here I just have a piece of raw canvas and um, I'm marking on top of some paint just to see how um, you know it works on top of paint how intense the color is and then I'm also documenting on a paper in just my color journal so um, that's kind of my process here as I go through each of these products um, this is another one of my favorite products are the Woody Stabilo pencils I use these all the time they're great for mixed media marking on top of lots of texture they work on tops of of lots of color and they're very um, inexpensive um, then you go here as you see the intense ink blocks which are another great product but they are on the more pricey side so but you can see there even on that black paint um, it's such a great intense color it will go on top of anything they're also water soluble so you can blend with um, gesso or mediums or just water um, if you're wanting to set a water soluble product, you can spray a fixative on top of it or kind of dab it with some medium paint, uh, like media gel, mixed media gel, and let it dry. Um, here I've got some oil pastels. I have a ton of different oil pastels that I've tried out. Um, these are going to be one, want to be things that go on the top layer because they are not water soluble. The Crayola, um, just these good little Crayolas that you see for kids. Are one of my favorites they've been a mainstay of mine for a long time they have great colors um, they're really vibrant and intense and they are cheap um, I've tried a couple other ones like the art loft and a couple different brands don't use these much um, kind of waxy and watery so I don't really recommend those but I thought I would show them anyway and kind of show you the difference there and then um, we're gonna get kind of back into more some water soluble these again are I think these are from Hobby Lobby maybe Masters Touch and they are water soluble not crazy about those either I think they're great for maybe art journaling and and paperwork but not really for your heavy mixed media with lots of layers lots of texture which is what I tend to use these are a portfolio I've had these for a long time use these a lot in water uh, or excuse me in art journaling um, and then the Neo colors are another one of my favorites. These are more on the pricey side, but you can see just the vibrant color there. They mark great on top of any kind of paint. They work well with texture. Um, so I'm recommending those. They come in a wide range of colors too. Um, these here are just a watercolor crayon. Don't use them a lot except for when I'm journaling um, on paper, maybe my, in my art journals, but I don't really use them in my mixed media artwork. So. Um, as you can see, I'm continuing on with the gelatos, which are a lot like the tempera paint stick, just a bit more expensive. Um, but they come in nice, vibrant colors too. And um, you can see there, they, they work nicely with the paints. This is something I use a lot. These are just a woodless um, color pencil. They're very inexpensive. I think they're Progresso brand. And they mark so well and they even have metallics but you can see they work on all kinds of paint they work good on textured paint or textured layers um, they're pretty vibrant and so those I use a lot I love um, the what do you call them the uh, permanent markers I think Sharpie makes one this one is Sakura um, but they, they are great because they dry quick. They are per totally permanent, so they're great for the top layer if you want some nice bold marks. Um, so anyway, I have just put all these down, all these marks, and this is something I always encourage people to do is just play around with the supplies you have and experiment with how they work um, with paint over the top or on the top of paint. So I'm just getting a white paint, a gesso, 
and just a matte medium here and just kind of playing around with seeing how they accept um, water or you know a liquid on top of them um, how they blend how they blend with paint and um, I'll eventually just end up probably painting over this whole layer and making a piece of abstract art out of it but it'll get some cool effects because some of these like especially like the intense ink blocks and things like that they will bleed through the paint and leave really cool effects and so um, anyway this is kind of my experimental process I hope that you learned a little bit about some new products as always you can find links to my favorite products in my Amazon store I have all my links in the description of this video so if you like what you see here please subscribe to my page I always will accept comments and questions so if you have those just leave them in the comments and I will try to answer any questions you have but Check out the, if you have questions about the products that you can find my favorites in my store and you can check them out there. So anyway, thank you for joining me today in my studio and I will hopefully see you again soon. <laughs>